When I came on the squad four long years ago and I first met Brent, she was very intense, direct, and I could tell that she um, didn't have favorites. If she has anything that she wants to say or criticism, she's going to tell you and it won't be in a babyish way. Like she'll just tell you and want you to fix so up. It's just about coming in, getting it done, and getting our goals accomplished. Brent's style of coaching has affected me outside of practice by causing me to mature throughout my Hampton um, experience. She is very intense and um, direct in her approach. So by doing that, it causes you to kind of get, get a mirror as to what's going to happen when you, you graduate and go outside and get a job and work and do things. Throughout practice, Brent tries to accomplish a couple of things. First, she wants us to look good, of course, and be a great, great um, team at games and different things that um, we um, do on and off campus. And then secondly, I think that the way practice is ran, it allows us to be disciplined and it matures us to prepare us for other things outside of practice and in the room. For those interested in auditioning to um, become a member of Ebony Fire, just know that Ms. Brent wants hardworking individuals, people who are going to give their all, all the time, and dedicated people who want to be a part of the team. Ms. Brent's coaching style is very blunt. Um, basically, if you don't have it, she's going to tell you, and you have a certain amount of time to get it together. So. If Ms. Brent is, she's just going to tell you like it is. With Ms. Brent's coaching style, it's definitely affected me outside of practice because she's very, you know, tell it like it is. So I've definitely been less of a procrastinator and I try to get my work done and I just try to be more about my business and, you know, outside in any endeavor. So I take everything she says to heart. With Ms. Brent's coaching techniques, it's actually perfect for me because she breaks it down for people who may not be able to catch on as quickly. So I think that's actually a very good characteristic for her because for people that may not catch, catch on as quickly, she knows how to you know, let it sink into your head and she gives you a minute. That way you can you know, do what needs to be done. She knows exactly what to tell you. If there's anything else that I would say about Ms. Brent, it would be to don't come halfway. Come all the way. Come prepared and be about your business. Um, she's definitely, she definitely puts her whole heart into it. So in her words, don't give her a lack of hustle. You need to be about it and do what you got to do. I've been on the squad two years and I feel like when I first met Miss Martin, she intimidated me. I was a little scared. I was like, who is this lady? Because she spoke really strong and confidently and she was going this and this. And I was just like, okay. I just sat down. But when I was watching her and listening to her, like, I automatically had um, admiration for her because she just seemed so confident and she just seemed so stylish. And she seemed like she really cared and was genuine about what she was doing. Um, Ms. Brent's coaching style has definitely affected me outside of practice. Um, I tend to be a little bit more on time for classes. I prepare myself more because she's big on preparing and being and looking your best. So not only do I try to carry myself and look the best, even though I tend to do that already, she just pushes it and you see her do it, so she exemplifies it. So you try to kind of, you know, do it in your own daily life in addition with schoolwork and just anything I try to put my best foot forward. That's really what she teaches. I feel like Ms. Brent tries to accomplish, um, she has a set of goals that she expects from us when we come in. I feel like she explains that at the beginning of practice and we all kind of internalize it and go from there. She expects us to put our best foot forward and that's like her coaching style during practice. I feel like she tries to accomplish either if it's get the whole dance done that day or I want them to learn how to do these fuerte turns. I feel like she tries to accomplish as much as she can, number one, and tries to accomplish, you know, the most difficult task at hand at that point in time. 
Ms. Burton has definitely given me advice on things outside of Ebony Fire, even though in the context it had to do with Ebony Fire, but it led me to take that and go beyond Ebony Fire. One of my experiences were being um, on time and focusing more, so I kind of use that um, outside of practice. I really try to focus on just any little details, and she really brought that to my attention. What she expects of you, she doesn't ever expect anything less, so when you come in here, you put your best foot forward because you know already what she expects. Thank you.